College professors of Reddit, what's your I'm surprised you made it out of high school story? Not me, but a friend who taught in the politics department received a paper about guerrilla warfare in South America. It was so poorly written she couldn't tell if it was a typo, or if they genuinely thought Colombia had been overrun by a planet of the ape-style revolution. E.T.A. This was in the UK and English was the student's first language. Not a college professor, but I worked in my university's writing center for a while. I had a girl come in with a research paper bibliography that listed my mom as a source several times. When I pressed, she told me her mom looked up everything and sent it to her and she just dot put it in the paper. She told me she had always done it that way. I once got an exam essay that mentioned how much Mandela hated the Jews. After scratching my head for a bit and wondering if I'd missed some obvious signs of his anti-Semitism I realized she meant Mengele. As in Joseph Mengele, the Nazi angel of death. Hard to think of a worse person she could have confused him for. There have been disturbingly high numbers of students on a performance-based music degree who can't read music. Not musicologists or conceptual composers who could in theory get away with it. No, these were people turning up expecting to study Western classical performance. There was even a master's student once. In the final year of high school I had to intervene during a practical exam when a student attempted to heat a plastic petri dish of water using the blue flame of a Bunsen burner. Dot. That student is a PE teacher now. My first year teaching I had a student who had failed the previous year due to missing too many cooking labs to pass and not handing in half the assignments. I had rewritten the curriculum and assignments. I noticed that this student hadn't been handing certain things in and had been skipping my lectures, so I decided to have a chat with them. They thought their marks for that semester were cumulative with their previous year's mark with a different curriculum, different assignments, and a different professor so they just had to make up enough marks to get a passing grade. This is a post-grad program. They had a BSc in dietetics. Once had identical twin sisters who turned in identical essays. Both were directly plagiarized from a Google search and received identical zeros. I taught English as a second language at a community college for a decade. My colleagues and I were pretty tough on the academics, but it paid off when our students started regular classes. Often I ran into my former students around campus and asked them how things were going. I lost count of the number of times they expressed disbelief at how badly their native-speaking American classmates were at writing sentences, doing math, and giving presentations in front of a group. Not a professor but in undergrad I was taking an American history course. Our professor was from Maryland and was probably in her early 40s. This kid asked her if she was one of the Pearl Harbor survivors. He couldn't grasp the fact that she was very much not alive at that time and that Pearl Harbor was not a harbor in Maryland. Not a professor, but as a college freshman I took advanced English with a student who didn't know how to write a research paper or even possibly read, I don't know. When I realized she didn't know how to research, I gave her my sources and showed her how to navigate them. The next class when we were supposed to edit each other's rough drafts. I handed her my paper to edit, she gave it back to me after 10 seconds without reading it and said it was good. She then handed me her paper and it was just a list of random dates. For a couple years I taught first-year college students in an engineering program, the majority of whom didn't know how to do unit conversions. Not even, like, inches to centimeters. To repeat, college. Engineering. My wife has had multiple students who are fundamentally technologically illiterate. Numerous students have had no idea how to use Word or Excel including one who used their email as a word processor the university provides students with office. There have also been students who struggle with installing programs on computers. What's disconcerting is it's becoming an increasingly common issue as an older millennial, the idea that kids are becoming less technologically proficient is so bizarre. I teach at a community college that doesn't actually require a high school diploma to attend, so I've seen a lot. Mostly it's native English speakers who are virtually illiterate. No abstract or critical thinking skills at all. One wrote a paper about the causes of the Salem witch trials. She sided with the accusers because she'd seen some stuff, clearly not understanding the assignment. Another insisted I approve every word he wrote to make sure he was doing it right, when in reality he was wanting me to feed him answers since he didn't do the reading. Yet another wrote in a discussion board about Lord of the Flies, I like how they saved all the flies. That was my favorite part. 
If you've read the book, you can guess the look on my face. I used to the asshole physics. I had a student who had gone to a decent private high school tell me the value of pi was 2.28. I can kind of understand the 0.28, because that's 2 pi, but I don't know where the 2 came from. Not a professor, but scarier because this story takes place in the real world. We hired an office assistant to help with phones, billing, and basic office tasks. No advanced skills needed. Within a week it was clear she couldn't. Search through files, which were in alphabetical order. Sort invoices by number. Fill out a deposit slip put a call on hold less than hold button to answer another line. Successfully transfer a call. Less than transfer button less than extension. After three exasperating weeks, we had to let her go. When we replaced her, we had a second interview for our preferred candidate where she had to do all these tasks. She looked at us like, you're kidding me, right? I once spent an hour explaining to college junior that an even number is divisible by two. Not a professor, but I have to share this. I was sitting in the rec sauna with two random dudes. One was reading a paper. He was reading an article about how the city was planning to pump in water from a lake 60 miles away, to meet demand. He looks up at me and the other guy, what exactly is the difference between a lake and a river? The second dude, a river moves fast, but a lake moves slow. Astonished, I said, a river flows. Typically to the ocean. But a lake is a body of water. It doesn't flow anywhere. He stated at me with a blank look. Then turned to the other dude, say again what you said, cause that sounded right. Other dude, ya dog, a river just moves fast, but a lake moves slow. I then felt a portion of hope leave my body. Did Kevin ever make it out of high school? Not a teacher, but a friend of mine is. First story, master's student didn't know how to convert from seconds to minutes. Second story, no one from a class of four PhD students in an engineering field knew how to add two 2D vectors. Till I failed year 12 and still could have gone on to university. Not a professor, but I was the person who did make my professor have that look. I asked her the question, what's a Shakespeare? And I was serious as I never heard of him until four years after I graduated from high school. I had a student who told me, being 100% serious, that he wouldn't be presenting on his assigned day because he didn't do the assignment and he'd go the next day. The presentation had been given with dates over two weeks earlier. When I told him that wasn't how college worked he claimed discrimination and told me he had accommodations for his disability that allowed him more time. Once he pulled that card I got the department head involved and she laughed. The guy failed. To clarify, he got double time on times exams to allow for a learning disability. It doesn't excuse him for deciding not to do the work necessary for the class. I was a the asshole for two years. One of my students outside of class explained that she and her whole family truly believes that microwaves mutate the DNA of your food, they don't, and mutated DNA is dangerous to eat, it wouldn't be. I couldn't help myself for calling her out. It was such a strange thing that it didn't even occur to me to be sensitive. I just said she clearly needed to take my biology class again. I have a bunch of over-ego dickwads who think they're the shit because they were the best coder in the high school then whine and complain at the assignments I give them. They never admit they're not as good as they thought they were. They never admit they need help. They just whine that, I looked at industry code once and it didn't look like this, or something about their imaginary internship with Google. So they never get the help they need and they never try because they think they're better than the degree. Maybe they were the best programmer in their high school, but in college, pretty much everyone here was the best programmers in their high school as well. My friend's student teacher, early 20s, about to graduate college, is working in a lower elementary classroom, and spells words wrong all the time. Everyone can have a brain fart now and then, but this is a few words, every day. Here she is, teaching the kids, and there are misspelled words on the board. Every day. Honestly, I wouldn't hire her. Being a good speller should be one of your skills when you go into elementary teaching. None could write legibly by hand. Few could spell. Next to none did the reading. At least half regularly skipped class and or assignments. Mummy and daddy's influence was clearly strong on admissions. Student handed in a one-page essay of complete gibberish. Like, utter stream of consciousness of a gerbil on LSD kind of garbage. After receiving an F on this assignment, this muffin had the audacity to come to my office hour and demand that I explain this grade to them. 
After I walked them through their river of word garbage, they tried to tell me that I just didn't understand their writing because I am not an English native speaker. First time I almost kicked somebody out of my office. Not a professor, but college instructor. I worked with engineering graduate students as a non-academic support staff. I instructed one student to put a tray of crucibles into the furnace at 550 C. I thought he understood that he should place the individual crucibles into the furnace one at a time, but he inserted the entire plastic tray that into a 550 C furnace. It started to melt before he had it halfway in, and he still continued to proceed. Within seconds it was a smoking disaster. When I got home I asked my eight-year-old daughter what would happen if you put a plastic tray into a very hot oven. It would melt, she replied correctly. This MSc engineering student was not as smart as a fifth grader. Had a blind student. Buildings have to feel like a freaking labyrinth to him. I'm amazed he doesn't get lost in an endless cycle trying to find his way out. Professor at a middle-of-nowhere medium-sized state school with a 80-ish percent acceptance rate. Had a graduate student who couldn't code for the life of him but was a software engineer at an undisclosed incredibly large aviation company. He couldn't accept that other students who didn't have jobs were better than him and that the people grading him didn't have jobs sent death threats because we failed him on an assignment where his code didn't run. He complained to the higher-ups and got a C. From a friend who is an economics professor, a week after a midterm, a student came up to my friend and said she took longer on the midterm than expected, didn't have enough money in the meter to cover the additional time, and got a parking ticket as a result. She asked my friend who in the department should she submit the ticket to for reimbursement. I had a student include numerous emojis in a term paper. A different student came to my office a week after the final, and asked me why she had failed the course. She hadn't turned in a single assignment, or written the final. My graduate school classmate wrote, America is a country that has been around for thousands of years. It was a group paper on social policy. From an essay on World War II Germany, and then Crystal Snatch happened. The student who labeled Canada incorrectly on a map. And so on and so forth. I'm a French professor, and a few weeks into a 200-level French class taught entirely in French, a student tells me that he's struggling because never took French before. Zero understanding of what we'd been doing for weeks. Also, on the same topic, check the blog, shit my students write. A lot of funny stuff there. I had a student who didn't know what the stapler was or how to use it. I accepted his assignment as separate pages. Unsurprisingly, his writing was similarly disjointed. One of my student athletes literally could not recite the months of the year in order. The sheer lack of critical thinking skills and the inability to follow any sort of directions. As a professor, I've enjoyed seeing how people write things they've never seen written before. Like brass tacks or full proof. Not a professor, but I was a math tutor at the university's tutoring center and a mom scheduled an appointment to have a talk with our supervisor exploring things we could do to help her kid pass his classes. The kid just sat there with emo hair covering his eyes looking totally disinterested. Not a professor, but was taking accounting as part of my MBA and had to get some tutoring from professor. So, she shows me the formula, then says, now all you have to do is find X. I had to admit that I didn't know how because I'd dropped out of HS before completing basic algebra, and I didn't have to take it for my undergrad, communications. She had to give me a crash course in very basic algebra right there. Ended up getting a B in the class and earned my MBA. My old history of modern art professor loves to tell the story about an exam essay featuring the topic of the male gaze instead of the male gaze. Teaching an English subject on academic writing, including the structure and importance of paragraphs, and a student then handed in a first essay that looked more like poetry one sentence per line. When queried, she insisted, they don't have paragraphs where I come from, turns out she was British. In retirement I have a job instructing at a community college, writing skills are incredibly bad, time management and ability to follow instructions are horrible, dot but the worse was were a pair of females twins that turned in identical papers, one clearly copied from the other, on the assigned topic of epistemology by cutting and pasting a Wikipedia article on episiotomy. I gave them a zero for the content, and ignored the cheating and the plagiarism. They demanded I review it with them, I did and wouldn't change the grade, so they appealed the grades to the academic dean, who invited them to leave the college. 
Not a professor, by any stretch of the imagination, but I helped my ex pass her first three tests in med school because it was over subject matter that I pick up from watching House. So if it makes you feel any better, there is a doctor out there somewhere whose ex watched so many episodes of House MD that he passed her first three tests for her. Not a professor, but we were doing peer editing in English 102. I got an essay on why suicide being illegal was stupid. I still remember the opening line 15 years later. There are plenty of retarded of laws. I stared at that sentence wondering what to do and realizing how low my school's standards of admission were. Just this past week I had to teach one student how to use numlock on a keyboard and then I had to explain to another who was trying to look up Utah that it isn't spelled Utah. Mind you this student's primary language is English, it was not an ESL student. Had another sit on top of a box with about half a million dollars worth of equipment in it today without checking to see if it was a box full of expensive stuff. Teaching college is wild. Not a professor but was an assistant to a professor. Every few weeks we would have in-class writing assignments that were on paper. Every time there was always a paper that was written in something completely unprofessional. This kid wrote in thick Crayola washable markers. It would take up two lines because it was so thick. Usually he wrote in black but a few times he used purple or blue. I have no idea how this kid made it out of high school. I'm not a professor, but a college student. Today in class one watched the guy sitting in front of me scroll through Reddit for a half hour. This was after he proclaimed that he didn't study for the quiz. And following this he was proud that he got four fifteenths on last week's quiz. Double the one before that. This particular student has also told me that he hates geology. We are in the geological technology program. Every day I question why he is even here. He basically needed me to hold his hand through physics and chemistry last semester. Which I didn't mind because it was easy for me. The only thing I can think is that he's going to school on daddy's dime. And is still in that high school mentally where it doesn't really matter, you just go to hang out with your friends. During an open note exam, had a student ask me what lecture slide they could find the answer.